Hello friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medicos Hub. This is my fifth lecture on membrane potentials in nerve fibers and I am going to discuss the refractory period. What is refractory period? It is that length of time during which the membrane of neuron will not respond to second stimuli. Now this refractory period is basically divided into two types or two phases that is absolute refractory period and relative refractory period. We will compare them what is absolute refractory period that is ARP and relative refractory period that is RRP now what is absolute refractory period It is, absolute refractive period is that time duration in action potential during which the neuron will not respond to stimuli of any strength while relative refractory period is that duration of time following ARP that is after ARP during which a supra threshold stimulus may elicit a response now where are these in this graph This is the regaining of or reaching the firing potential. Then depolarization, then repolarization. When repolarization is one third completed, this is absolute refractory period. absolute refractory period so absolute refractory period is between where is ARP between ARP between uh, ARP is between reaching of firing potential or threshold potential and one third completion of repolarization while the relative refractory period starts with end of absolute refractory period that is one third completion of repolarization and the start of after depolarization.
that is here. This is RRP. So reaching of firing level, depolarization, then one third completion of repolarization. In between these two points, there is absolute refractive period, and the end of ARP and the start of after depolarization indicates the relative refractive period in the action potential. Now, what is the mechanism behind? Why it is not responding to the uh, stimuli of any strength? The mechanism is that the voltage gated sodium channels are inactivated. This limits its importance is that it limits the number of firing potentials or action potentials in the nerve fiber. Then mechanism behind relative refractive period, why it is responding to supra threshold stimuli? There are two reasons. Some of the voltage gated sodium channels have entered the have entered resting phase. So these can respond. Another point is that a supra threshold stimuli can cover more area in comparison to the threshold stimuli. So more number of voltage gated sodium channels can be involved or are activated that may elicit a response so this is the mechanism behind arp and rrp hit the like button share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications